Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. I'm Mark, this is Skydiver's Garage, and today we're out here to talk about the thing that I mentioned in the last video. Hey, sorry to interrupt today's video, but before we get into this, I just wanna ask that each of you go down, hit that subscribe button, like this video, leave a comment. Costs you absolutely nothing, helps us out tremendously. We really wanna make sure that we're getting in that YouTube algorithm and really getting out to the widest audience possible. And it's through your help and your support that we get there, so go click that. Just do it, just do it, go click it. All right, back to the video. So in the last video, I mentioned that I'd gotten a box in the mail. It was sent to me by Jesse, uh, Jesse DeBears. He is the guy who has been tuning everyone's JB4 stuff. And uh, so I've been working with him for quite a while. And you know, I've mentioned him several times and, and what he's been doing in my videos. But what he's been able to do is custom tune the JB4 and really get the most out of the JB4. And I know a lot of people have been looking for how to get more out of their JB4. So if you need that, go ahead and reach out to them. But what I got in the mail was a box and in it was a an MHD orange uh, dongle, which goes in your OBD2 port. And along with that was just a card in there. And he sent me earlier in the day, uh, he said, hey, here's a, a code that you're gonna need. And so once I got it, kind of figured out what it was, and it was the XHD transmission tune, uh, which is really cool because it's something that I was I was definitely looking to do with the car. Now right now, the car is looking pretty good. Took it out for a cruise on Friday night, and on the way back, it was after dark, it was like 10 o'clock, and the bugs. It was actually, it was hitting so hard that the automatic windshield wipers came on uh, because there were so many bugs hitting the windshield. But nice and clean right now, looking really good. Those wheels, man, I am loving those wheels on this car. Setup on the wheels looks great. Everything on there looks really good at this point. So let's talk about this XHD transmission tune. Now, if you are coming to this channel, coming to this video to figure out how to actually install yours, I'm gonna point you to a different video. So my buddy Vince, who has uh, Driving and Vibing, is his channel. He just did a really, really comprehensive uh, tutorial. Walked you through what all the different features are, what they do, what the settings can do, uh, and walked through the whole thing about how to connect it. I will say, connecting it, getting the, at least for me with the MHD, getting it to connect, stay connected, not disconnect or connect with anything else uh, was kind of a pain. It kept kind of switching back and forth. You have to download some things, so make sure that you download the stuff before you go to airplane mode, do all that stuff, but uh, follow his tutorial and it'll work out great. So one of the really cool things about this tune is that you don't need to have your ECU unlocked. You don't need to be ECU tuned. You can do this completely bone stock or with any modifications that you want even with an upgraded transmission. So even if you had gone to a, a pure uh, transmission or had somebody rebuild your transmission, you can still use this tune and that's really cool. Also the price, the price point of this is actually uh, really, really good. I mean, for the amount of performance that you get out of it, for the effect that it has, it's I think about $421 for the actual software and license and about $79 for the dongle, uh, the OBD2 port connector. And you need that. So there's like three different ones that I know of that you can get. It's the MHD Orange, the Red Thor, and I think that the XHP guys have one of their own now. Uh, so if you get any one of those, that will work. So if you've got like the, uh, the ones that you use for Bimmer code, not gonna work. If you've got one you use for Ecutech, not gonna work. Uh, but you'll have to get one of these three. And so the price point for what you get is actually really, really good. And it's just, it is a big improvement. So let me tell you about what things I've tuned in mind. So I have gone with the stage three OTS map, and then I've gone into the custom settings and I've done the, uh, the custom sport mode or, or sportive settings, turned them up to Sportive Plus uh, for S-Mode. I have 
I turned off the auto on off feature. So I don't like the auto on off feature. And so this just is another way to do it. You can also do it through Bimmer code, which I have. Um, I've done the M, M mode throttle blips, which is, uh, it does the auto rev matching when it downshifts. But what it actually does is this adjusts how aggressive those are and how much it actually gives, like how much, uh, like how much throttle it inputs on those downshifts uh, to give a little bit, a little bit more aggressiveness. And so I've done that. Um, oh, and the max RPMs. So we all know that the the power band kind of starts to fade about 6,300 or so, right in there. Uh, you know, the peak is is right around. 58, 5900, and then it starts to fade down. Now things are gonna, depending on what mods you've got, turbo, all that kind of stuff, uh, that does change a little bit. But for stock turbo, somewhere in that 59 to 6100 is usually where it peaks and then it starts to fall off. So I've set in sport mode, my max RPMs at 6300. So it's gonna shift sooner than it does stock. It also shifts faster now. Uh, but why don't we take this thing out for a drive and actually see what it does. So this thing drives really well with this tune. The drivability actually goes up a lot. In comfort mode, it doesn't upshift quite as soon as it did before. So you aren't doing 40 miles an hour stuck in uh, eighth gear. It actually has a nice progressive um, growth to it and, and everything is good there. But once you're in sport mode, uh, especially depending on how you set it up, the shifts are so quick and so crisp and give you that that kick in the back, that punch in the back that uh, like a good DCT gives you. It's pretty incredible actually. So just driving around, got the car kind of up to temperature. What we'll do is we'll make this corner and then give it a, a quick punch just to see, see if you guys can see from this angle what it's doing. I will tell you that both in the automatic and in manual mode, the shifts are super, super fast, faster than they've been uh, at any other time, really. Okay, so we're doing 20, we're in second gear. We just super, super quick shifts. I mean, they're just on point right there where they need to be. And uh, it makes this car very exciting. And that wasn't that wasn't wide open throttle. At wide open throttle, I think they get even even crisper, even more uh, sharp, which is it's a lot of fun. I will tell you that performance does go up. So by doing a couple of things, I I'm on stage three map. Also by changing the shift point in sport to 6300 rather than going all the way to redline, uh, it keeps me in that power band a little bit better, and so my 60 to 130 time, even though it is hotter, right now it's only 80 degrees, but it's been in the 90s all week long. Uh, it was about 88 degrees, I believe it was 88 degrees when I went and tested last time. So 88 degrees, DA was almost 2000, um, maybe it was a little over that. Either way, worse conditions, and I took two tenths off of my 6130. Um, I'm not ready to show the, the draggies on those yet because we're still working, still tweaking, and I want to get it lower. So uh, once we get it where I want it to be and I'm happy with it, uh, I will post up the draggy slips. So one of the things you'll notice is that it holds onto a gear a little bit longer. So it doesn't shift up uh, quite as fast as it will in other modes. Um, so without this tune, a lot of times it'll shift up 
here it sits in if you're doing like 25 it'll sit in second if you're doing like 45 it'll sit pretty much in third until you really start to let off on it to let it shift to fourth um, but that's about as far as it goes so it definitely holds gears a little bit longer and has you ready to to punch uh, a little bit quicker like I said up front if you are looking for a good video on how to set up install and go through and tweak everything kind of step by step Go check out Vince's video, Driving and Vibing. I'll put a link right up here and down in the description so that you guys can go check that out. Uh, so here are my thoughts on this. It makes a huge difference. It really does. It's, it's cool that it's tunable, that you can sit there and adjust things and make it kind of exactly how you want it to be. Uh, and for those that are pushing big power, the, the guys that are like 550, 600 wheel torque and up, uh, six, seven hundred, eight hundred horsepower that are having a little bit of that slipping. So six, seventh, eighth gear uh, is where it typically starts to slip once you get in really high horsepower, high torque applications. This does have a, a line pressure bump that can help with that. Uh, it's not suggested that anyone uses it anytime except for in those applications. So I definitely don't have it turned on on mine. Uh, everything's good on mine. I've never had any slipping issues. Not quite at that power level not quite there so this thing has made it a lot of fun uh, took it out with my wife she really enjoyed it she likes the downshifts and the little uh, you know the, the little burbles that this thing does it doesn't have the, the huge burbles that other cars do that other even the 2020s uh, had but it's a lot of fun and it, it is exciting to drive and this definitely just gives it that little little extra something and like I said it does have performance benefits and I have seen them and I will show you guys some some draggy reports on that pretty soon. All right, well, I hope that this video helped you guys out and you got something out of it. Maybe you were on the fence about whether or not to get it. Don't be on the fence. Go ahead and get it, install it. It's relatively cheap and the performance benefit is actually really good. So uh, jump on it, go get it, tune your stuff up and go have fun with your car. That's what it's all about. Get out and have fun. I know gas prices are super freaking high right now. Absolutely ridiculous off the charts, uh, but you still got to go have fun. Find time to enjoy life. Find time to get out and enjoy what it is that you're passionate about. And if it's cars, and it's getting out and going and having fun with cars, go do it, man. Go do it. Don't let the gas prices d deter you from having fun and enjoying life. All right, I'll see you guys next time.